Good morning, everyone. Week of December 2nd, 2024. Safety talking again. topic again off the website is workplace safety violations remain constant. When OSHA released its preliminary list of top 10 violations for last year, some issues remain constant. For the 13th consecutive year, fall protection topped the list. Fall protection. Uh, they have more than double the second most cited, which is hazard communication. Uh, so, the top violations. I'm just going to review that because you're all going to get this exact information. But here we go. The violations, number one, fall protection. Failure to have employees protected by guardrail systems when they're working six feet or higher off the ground level accounted for 70%. And most of that is in construction. Remember, in manufacturing, it's four feet. Hazard communication. 35% of employers fail to provide employees with a written program. Just having a program. Number three, ladders. 62% failed to provide portable ladders being used to access the upper level. All right? That's crazy. Scaffolding. 28% of the employers failed to have a system where the employees are working 10 feet or above on a scaffold that they were protected from falling to a lower level. Amazing. Port industrial trucks, 25% of the employers failed to ensure the vehicles were operated safely. These are huge numbers. Pre-shift inspections are required. The increase of inspections. You're going to see the difference in the inspections because of the number of increases under the Biden administration, the numbers have gone up from the number of inspections. So more numbers of inspectors plus they're on the rise. So in 2023, fall protection, 7,271 versus 5,915 in 2022. Last year, hazard communication over 3,213 versus 2,000. Ladders up over 500. Scaffolding, uh, up over 500, 600. Power industrial trucks, number of inspections increased uh, 600 and something. Amazing numbers. Lockout, tagout, uh, over 400. Respiratory protection, that's relatively the same. Uh, here's a good one for you. Uh, Three to 400, just the training requirements. These are amazing numbers to me. Personal protection, all right? Uh, that's over 500. Machine guarding, uh, 100, over 150 more. So what do I wanna tell you? Employers, safety committees, we should use this top 10 list as a guide to prioritize, focus on reducing injuries and fatalities. That is my message for the week. Take care, the choice is yours, make the right choice and be safe.